Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. We've got something super special for you today. Today, it's a Mother's Day out on the trail. So hopefully you love it and we're gonna take you for a ride. Stay tuned. So I wanted to share a few reasons why I chose this particular trail. First and foremost, we have a time limit that is available to us to travel today. So I wanted to keep something that was within two hours drive time of our house. And that wasn't crazy challenging, but still got us outside today on an overlanding adventure and you know just experiencing something new with the family so then come to find out when i try to do some research on the trail it really isn't a talked about trail so this is either going to be a really fun adventure or we're going to find out that there's a very specific reason that it's not talked about very often and the trail is called big bug mesa trail and there really isn't a lot of information about it. Doing a little background on it, the trail itself looked kind of cool. Everything that I saw on it was more hiking or motorcycle based. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the uh, truck on it, see how it is, but it should be a good trip. It should be. If not, we're out here together and so it's worth it. Yeah. And to all the mothers that are watching this, whether it's on Mother's Day or whether it's just sometime throughout the, throughout the year, I just want to say from me to you, happy Mother's Day. And um, it's a tough job, but I appreciate everything that all the moms are doing. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> and if you are a mother, you should subscribe to the channel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm walking down getting some video of the truck and I'll be honest I have driven past this part and I wouldn't say deep into here but I've driven past this road that goes this way probably a hundred times going to Prescott and this is on the way to Prescott by the way and this is beautiful out here like big pine trees I would have never guessed in a thousand years that this looked like this just five miles off of the road going to Prescott On our trip up to Big Bug Mesa, we actually came across this cute little town called Breezy Pine. And it actually has a little paved road in this, I don't know, quarter mile section of town where there's probably, I don't know, 10, 12 houses up here, little cabins, getaway cabins, because it's obviously cooler up here than down in the valley. But this is really cool. Like you wouldn't expect this coming from the area that we were in of just pine trees and rocks and little mining towns to this cute little town up here. So. Hard pass, definitely hard pass. <laughs> I got these self-deflating devices off Amazon, and these are the cheap knockoffs of the old, I think they're Sean deflators. Um, they're super cool. They seem to work fine first time using them, but you have to adjust them the first time. It's a process to do it. What you have to do is you put them on, you open the valve up, and all you're doing is twisting this counterclockwise to open this valve up. Once you get this opened up, you get to where your tire pressure 
Is that where you want it? At, in this case, at 25 PSI, and then you close this back down so that the air stops coming out and then lock into, into that position. And that way I keep my 25 PSI. And all really all I have to do now is when we get to the trail, I want to air down. I can pop all four of these on. I can drive for 10 minutes, stop, take them off, and the tire should be deflated down to 25 PSI without any issues. Unless of course they break or you get sediment in here and then the pressure won't release. It's pretty cool. And I will put a link to these in the description below. So now the tire pressure is exactly at 25 PSI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on. And you'll hear that it's slowly still leaking out. Oh, it actually stopped. So now I'm just gonna lock it into this position. And now this valve is set to 25 PSI. God damn, I love this truck. Halfway through traversing the Big Bug Mesa, this is a really cool part of the trail. It's really rocky, this top section here, that's actually the traverse of the, the Mesa itself, but, uh, and it's a little bit of buggy, <laughs> not too bad though. But it's a really cool section. It's rocky, it's rough, it's definitely, you're gonna need some clearance on this, right. but it is very cool up here. Right. What I wanna know is, so far, has this been a good trail choice? This has been an amazing trail <laughs> choice. I didn't do any research into this trail or what the if there was history to this trail. And then come to find out. Oh, I did. Ask me. Right. Ask so me. as we were driving up today, um, you know, he was sharing some of the information. I thought it was really cool, so I thought we'd share with you now. So Big Bug Mesa was actually a mining town back in the early 1900s. And there was quite a bit of uh, gold mining here. There was an Indian invasion of the miner town that was out here, and there was uh, four miners that actually fended off a tribe of Indians um, from their claim up here. So it was interesting. I don't know if it's the uh, best history of Arizona, but it's definitely <laughs> the history that happened right. here. So it being that we've never heard of this trail and never heard of that story, so it's kind of interesting just to to get out and do a trail and actually realize that there's some history to it. Yeah, I really so. wish we could find the actual old ghost town here, but right. I've heard it is completely gone. There's not even a chimney standing. So yeah, it's gone. Yeah, but there's also a Big Bug um, big bug Mesa hiking trail. So at some point we might come back and do that. Um, yeah. But today it was strictly, you know, off-road overlanding and, um, you know, but this would be something I would be willing to come back and do a hiking trail too. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. And we're up here in the huge pines. You could tell, you can see signs of a forest fire here at some point. I think the pines made it because of the way they're fire retardant, but they, uh, it is gorgeous up here. Like yeah. it's beautiful breeze coming through. I know it's, yeah. you know, 102 degrees down in Phoenix and it's 80 degrees up here. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a really nice place to just get away. Like I said earlier, get out of heat, come hang out. I mean, you can smell the forest. Is there a better way to spend a weekend? I can't think of a single one. <laughs> so let's keep going. Yep, we're moving right, on. Let's see, let's see what the end has in store for us. <laughs> Hopefully it's as good as it's been so far. Guaranteed. <laughs>
absolutely worth the trip. I'm really glad that we took the, the last 30 minutes and made, we just kept going. We're like, nah, maybe it doesn't end anywhere. It's awesome. Absolutely worth it. So we're gonna swing back and get you the final approach of Rook coming in for a landing. We made it to the top of Big Bug Mesa and we've traversed the entire thing. It's, that was a, quite a big ecosystem change. We went from high desert to big pine trees and now we're in this big burn area that's again high desert. It's really cool. Yeah, it's been a really cool trail. We were a little bit nervous about three quarters of the way in. Our, uh, we brought our, our youngest son with us and he's been having some, some stomach issues. So we weren't sure if we were gonna turn back around or not. And he just freaking ponied up and we made it and it is 100% worth the trip. Yeah. This is a really cute trail. The top part of Big Bug Mesa, I think is about five miles and it's pretty rocky, but it's very well maintained. They obviously didn't blade through the rocky sections, but the stuff they did blade, they bladed all the way through. So I'm pretty sure it's the Forest Service that took care of that. We did air down, it made a huge difference. And um, there comes, you can take this trail for a little while in a minivan or a Honda, but at the same time, once you start getting into this rocky section, you definitely lift bigger tires, makes a huge impact to your success story to get all the way to this view. It's absolutely worth it. It is gorgeous at the top. Yep. So, hey, what do you think of my first trail that I picked? Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Again, have a happy Mother's Day. This has been a really great adventure for me. And thank you for joining us here at Adventure Build. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And the like button. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs>